Attention travel junkies! South Korea has got everything you could ever want. Gorgeous temples, water parks, a peak across the border, and food that will give you a run for your money. And your digestive system, but it's all a risk worth taking. So come on down and experience the land of K-pop, K-dramas, and all things K. Just don't forget to bow respectfully to your BTS overlords. Number 7. Jeju Island If you're all about those tree-hugging vibes, Jeju Island is one place you do not want to miss. It's the ultimate destination that gives you the perfect blend of hot and cool, just like that latte you can never get enough of. And you'll finally be able to get away from the hustle and bustle of your regular life for some well-deserved peace and quiet. Make sure to stop by Halasan while you're there. The mountain's long volcanic tubes are like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. And even though they're kilometers long, the fear of the dark won't stop you from exploring every inch of it. Speaking of spooky, the natural rock formations in the caves are something that you cannot miss. And if that's not enough to impress you, how about those grandfather stones? These bad boys were built to scare off invaders, and they're still standing today, representing the rich culture of the locals. Now, if you're a foodie, then you're in for a real treat. Jeju Island seafood is second to none, and it's all caught by female deep-sea divers. But wait, there's more! Cupid himself will be paying you a visit while you're there, so make sure to pack some extra love in your suitcase. Number 6. Gangnam District Welcome to the capital, Seoul! If you love K-drama and geeking out for ancient cultures, Seoul is your next go-to place. This metropolis is the perfect combination of the temples of the past and the skyscrapers of today, and its unique fashion moments will leave you gagging. For K-pop fans, this place is heaven. You can meet your idols on their way to their music banks, attend concerts, and record your own song. K-pop dance lessons are also being offered here by professionals. It's the perfect place to feel your fantasy and live your dreams of becoming a star yourself. And there's one particular district that you just have to visit that requires a little bit of a throwback on our part. If you take a trip down memory lane, you might remember the song that pretty much kicked off K-pop culture. Well, the Gangnam District doesn't disappoint either. It's filled with stores and huge libraries. It's also a place where you can find designer stores on almost every street. Now you know where to look if you want to upscale your look the next time you're in Seoul. The first integrated broadcast towers are located here, and it's a place of interest for visitors since they opened to the public. But maybe you're tired of the bustle of the capital. Well, fear not, because close by, you can find another must-visit place. If you're more interested in the cultural side, the palaces here are worth your time. Each palace has unique architecture and is a representation of the dynasty which built it. Number 5. Sierok Sun National Park If you're into hiking, then Sierok Sun National Park needs to be on your bucket list. This place is like a paradise for anyone looking to disconnect and be at peace. With its pine forests, rugged peaks, and crystal clear lakes, you'll feel like you've been transported to another world. Oh, also, there are over 2,000 animal species that call this park their home, like the super rare Asiatic black bear. And let me tell you, they are not shy about staring back at you. Next, take a ride on the Sierra Roxxon cable car and enjoy the stunning views from above. And did you hear about the Buryong Falls? They say it looks like a freaking dragon. And if you're lucky, you might even see a rainbow hanging out over the falls on a nice day. And hey, if you're here in the winter, you can witness some legit magic with snow-covered mountains and frozen waterfalls. For all you hikers out there, this place has something for everyone, from beginners to advanced adventurers. Plus, you can't miss Sinhangsa Temple, the oldest Zen temple in the world. That's right, you can reinforce your chakra just like Naruto. And if that's not cool enough for you, there's also a giant Buddha statue meditating in the middle of the trees. So if you're looking for a place to escape the mundane and experience hundreds of years of culture all in one spot, then Sierra Roxxon National Park is the place for you. Number 4. Gyeongju Known as the Museum Without Walls, Gyeongju is the land of ancient tombs and hipster cafes. You'll feel like you've hopped on a time machine when you visit this place. 
And if you happen to drop by during spring, prepare to have your mind blown by the cherry blossoms in full bloom. It's the perfect spot for some quiet contemplation and an Instagram photo op. Are you ready to witness one of the most spectacular architectural wonders you'll ever lay your eyes on? I'm talking about the Wolzhiangsa Bridge. This bridge is a showstopper. During the day, it's a vibrant shade of red that'll perk you up faster than a double shot of espresso. But at night, it transforms into a golden hue that'll make you feel like you're walking on sunshine. And if that's not enough, nearby is the Yochan traditional village, where you can immerse yourself in some old-school Korean vibes. It's like getting two destinations for the price of one. You can also visit the Cheonmachong tomb and actually go inside and check out some ancient writings. Just be prepared to scratch your head because they're in multiple languages and you'll need to be more than bilingual to understand them. Did I mention that there's literally a tomb complex out as well, with almost 23 ancient tombs? Daryongwon Tomb Complex is an architectural playground and an escape from the hustle and bustle of Seoul. I know, I know, we also need to chill a little. That's why you should definitely go visit the Hangwadan Gil, the epitome of chill. From the hip shops to the cafes, this area has plenty of noteworthy spots to update your social media profile and show off your travel game. It's perfect for those of us who want to enjoy some downtime without overexerting ourselves. Number 3. Korean Demilitarized Zone Now, let's take a trip to the Demilitarized Zone, the border between North and South Korea. It's the ultimate wasteland between North and South Korea and serves as a major tourist attraction. Plus, the best part? It's completely free. The Joint Security Area is where things get really interesting. It's the spot where North and South Korea come face to face. And honestly, it's got a real unrest vibe to it. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom in the DMZ. Im Jung-guk Nuri Peace Park is a theme park within the demilitarized zone. It's like a giant playground where you can let your inner child run wild. And if war does break out, it's a great distraction for incoming troops. Don't forget to check out the Dora Observatory, where you can catch a glimpse of North Korea through binoculars. You can even see places like the third North Korean infiltration tunnel and the North Korean propaganda village and bring your secret agent fantasies to life. Number 2. Andong I know that itch we all feel to get a dose of traditional Korean culture. That's why Andong is the place to go, where history and modernity blend together to give you a unique experience. First up is the Andong Haho village, where the Ryu clan used to live. Located next to the Nakdong River, this village will make you feel like you're in heaven without the pearly gates and all that jazz. Next is the Andong Mask Festival, where you can see some thrilling mask performances and dances, along with other festivities and delicious food stalls. And if that's not enough, there's even a spectacular fireworks show. The locals sure know how to go out with a bang. If you're looking for something a little more refined, Mammoth Bakery in Andong has got you covered. Who needs traditional Korean treats when you can experience a little slice of French heaven in Korean territory? They've even got a small chocolate bar in the basement, because why not? Feeling a little stuffed? Take a leisurely stroll across the Wulyanggyu Bridge, the longest walking bridge in South Korea. And don't forget to come back at night when the lights turn on, magnifying its beauty. And for all you Confucius fanatics out there, make sure to visit the Dosan Confucian School. It may not teach anymore, but it's still there for all your ceremonial purposes. So what's stopping you? Number 1. Ulsan If you still have some nature left in you, Ulsan is another name on the list. The land of beaches and industry. You can go from frolicking in the sand to nerding out over the world's largest automobile industry in a jiffy. That's right, Hyundai Motor Ulsan plant is the ultimate destination for car fanatics. With five factories and a whopping 4,800 cars produced every single day, you'll be living in automobile heaven. The shipyard and oil refineries also offer their own exciting behind-the-scenes tours. And did I mention the Po Whale Culture Village? This place is all about whales, whales, and more whales. It's like a theme park for marine mammal enthusiasts. You can even relive the good old days of fish catching in the recreated village. 
and for those seeking a more aquatic adventure, Ulsan has got you covered. The parks here are filled with water rides and marine life galore. Who needs a boring old aquarium when you can have a full-on water park experience? So come on down to Ulsan where you can soak up the sun, marvel at industry, and dive into the deep blue sea. It's an adventure you won't soon forget. So, do you have any idea about your visit to South Korea now? Do tell us in the comments down below. If this video helped, please give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.